Hello, you guys, and welcome to Reviews with Whitney D. I'm Whitney D. Let's get into it, shall we? Now, don't act like you don't want to hear what I got to say. Blah, blah, blah. No, for real, for real. <laughs> I digress. It's exciting. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys watch this show, but I am a huge fan of 90 Day Fiance. Um, and this particular season is 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After. And it's a particular couple um, on there that um, kind of um, have been having an up and down relationship. Uh, well, their relationship has been kind of going through the ringer, okay? And it's Ashley and Jay. Now, if you do not know this show, watch it on Lifetime. Oh, no, TLC. My apologies. Watch it on TLC on Sundays at 8 p.m., okay? Now, this particular couple, Ashley and Jay, okay? Mind you, this girl is like my age. I think she's 32. She's 32, 33 or something like that. And then dude, Jay is 20, okay? And I think she was talking to him, messing him, he was like 19 or something like that. But anyways, I digress. So the particular episode that came on on Sunday really pissed me off, okay? Okay, so Jay allegedly, supposedly cheated on Ashley, okay? All right, that's not good. That's not okay. I'm not condoning that, okay? I mean, it, it was a bad cheat. It was a cheat where it was some girl that I guess he had been talking to. Uh, he met her uh, right in front of Ashley, which is his wife. But on top of that, he smashed her at his place of employment where he was doing tattoos and... Um, you know, did all kinds of stuff with her in this restroom. So much so that the um, owner of the shop hemmed him up behind it, right? So that was that, okay? Ashley then comes in and sits down with this owner and one of the barbers of the shop. And they begin to let him know what Jay had been doing, right? So Jay ends up confront confronting, um, I mean not Jay, Ashley ends up confronting uh, Jay. Can you turn that off? Ashley end up confronting Jay about the situation, you know, and um, he doesn't he doesn't deny it or whatever. But you know, um, she puts him out, okay. And so she decides to put his clothes out. And so he um, he said, you know, you're not gonna pull my clothes. I'm gonna come get my clothes. So he uh, she and a friend is there drinking and stuff like that. He shows up, right? And so. He sits down, they talk a little bit. She asks him, you know, what we're thinking, blah, 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 right? So he, in turns, I guess you can say he blamed her or whatever, but he was just like saying, you know, who fault is that, uh, basically? You know what I've been going through, blah, blah. She gets furious, she puts him out. Okay, cool, fine. You know, hey, that, that's okay. Here's my problem. After she places him out, she sits down and I guess she thinks about some old crap. So she goes right back outside while he's standing in front and was like, you better get off my property. Let me give you some history in regards to the environment in which this young black man is in. Okay, This couple has already received threats. Like she had letters stating, you know, why you got this black nigger living over here. All kinds of different stuff, right? I guess from the community email, right? So... Now you got him outside, you're kind of loud because you're telling him, get off my property, blah, 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 right? Camera crew is there, okay? He then moves himself into the street, okay? Waiting on his ride. That wasn't enough. She proceeds to go back in the house and she calls the cops. I'm, 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 un, I'm totally aware that she's trying to get him deported quicker or thought they was going to do something, okay? Um, and... I'm not condoning that he cheated on her at all. The problem is, is that this young black man, with all of this going on, gets the cops called on him, right? She calls the cops, okay? They come, all right? 
and they give him a hard time so much so he's crying you know mind you i understand what he did he cheated he, that's absolutely out of order I'm not condoning that. But well enough should have been left alone once you put him out. Okay? He don't have no family there or whatever. From 9 17, probably gonna call the chick he was messing messing on you with. Oh well, he's at your house. He's no longer your concern, right? I would think, right? No, you call the police. Police come, he get all emotional. They do nothing. They just tell him to do what he already was doing by being out of the house. You know what I'm saying? And so she was like, you know, it's too late for them to call um, deportation, but I'm gonna do it in the morning. Trick, you could have did that without calling the police. And that really pissed me off because it's like, Okay, I get it. I get it. He, out of order, completely. But even if it was in, in if, if the situation was where me as a black woman, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to call no police on her. I'm not going to put another black man in the system. But she knew what she was doing, okay? One, you got a community that's already enraged about you having this nigger. And I mean nigger. They showed it on their the emails or whatever. In this community. Two, you know, um... You're already mad, you know, granted, I get it. I, I totally understand that he cheated on you. I get it. Three, you're white, okay? And this is a black man, okay? Let, let, let's, let's, let's just be realistic. And it just really pissed me off and revved up my gear. So I did some little searching to see what, you know, took what happened in regards to this situation after the fact. And I went to both of their pages neither one of them are you know talking not necessarily talking but are posting each other or anything like that to that matter um now newsweek.com uh reported according to ashley jay will be deported august he will be deported on august 7th unless he runs which is what i'm assuming he's probably planning she told her instagram followers the thing that's really frustrating is he's here illegally now I did file for this adjustment of status, and then two weeks later, he screwed up again, so I withdrew it. Immigration and Customs Enforcement has already been here to arrest him. They know where he worked, she added. I mean, obviously, if they come to my house at this point, I'm going to tell them where he's at. So I'm not sure why he's still sneaking why so i'm not sure why he's still sticking around because he got a letter three weeks ago saying he has an active warrant for his arrest to find out what happens next don't miss sunday's 90 day fiance happily ever after at 8 p.m so that right there you know tells me in regards to the situation what transpired or whatever the case may be but the plot thickens, okay? So I continue to do further investigation and research, okay? Now, according to InTouch.com, 90 Day Fiance Ashley is facing charges after throwing fire extinguisher, extinguisher through Jay's window. Mm-hmm. So in trouble with the law, 90 Day Fiance star Ashley and Martin is now facing charges for a crime she admitted to committing during a Instagram live session in June. In touch can confirm that Ashley 31 is facing charges after she threw a fire extinguisher through her estranged husband Jay Smith's apartment window. Ashley was charged with one charge of simple assault and one charge of criminal mischief. In touch crime via uh Cumberland County Court's record. The blind beauty was not arrested for her involvement in the crime. The charges were placed against her on June 19, just three days after Ashley admitted that she broke Jay's window. A starcasm was the first to report the news about Ashley's latest legal issues. On June 16, Ashley and Jay, 21, both joined blogger John Yates on his Instagram Live to tell their sides of 
the story about what happened the night that the incident occurred. Now, um, so this is what happened. I am here chilling one night with my friends cooking. Two girls were was over. The Jamaican native explained, "This is." This is my house, and if I want to bring a bunch of girls over, it's my place. Jay explained that he was cooking some Jamaican food for his pals. He also said one of the girls was there to hook up with his friend, and the other girl was her friend. That's when he claimed Ashley showed up at his house, um, at his uh, apartment, allegedly unannounced. So... I'm here chilling. I heard someone knock my, knock my door. When I went to look, someone had their hands over the peephole. She got her hands over over the peephole, he said. I was like, I'm not expecting no one. I'm not going to open my door if someone have their hands over it. Jay explained that the person who he believed to be Ashley knocked on his door again but the peephole was still blocked, so he couldn't see. Then I leave to to turn my chicken. Someone knocked again, and I'm like, I'm not, I'm not going to open it. Jay said. After the third knock, Jay said that's when the fire extinguisher broke through his front window. A fire extinguisher effing smashed through my effing window, hit my friend in the head. It was Ashley, he said. Since Jay had his chance to tell his side of the story, Ashley joined in on the Instagram Live to share her side. I just want to clear the air a little bit. Yes, I threw an effing fire extinguisher through his front window. Let me explain why, Ashley said. Only because it was set up that way. Ashley's friend, Karina, interrupted. She went on to explain that when Jay moved on, uh, when when Jay moved out of her house, she allowed him to borrow her son's PlayStation, so Jay so Jay could use it to stream TV until he got a cable set up in his apartment. After that, they are they had arranged for Ashley to stop by at some point to pick up the same the game console. So I was out at a vineyard drinking, and he messaged me. Ashley said. Jay allegedly told her to come over and pick up the PlayStation. And since it was 10 p.m., Ashley wanted to stop by right away. He said, no, why don't you come after your, you are out with your girls at like 2 a.m.? Because he wanted to hook up, she claimed. She repeatedly, she repeated that Jay told her to come over to his house that night. And she did. Even though she had been drinking, I went to his house, knocked on the door. He knew it was me. Someone said, uh, "Someone said, hey, Jay, your, your wife at the door, whoever was in the house, as she said. And he said, F that H, after he told me in a text message to come pick up the PlayStation. And I was like, hello? No. So, yes, I sure did take the fire extinguisher off the wall and smash his front window, Ashley admitted. Which side of the story do you believe, Jay's or Ashley? Let us know in the comments below. And that was reported by InTouchWeekly.com. Here's my thing in regards to this again, okay? <laughs> she do too much, okay? She doing entirely too much, okay? I don't, I just don't understand, you know what I'm saying? And then after you did all this, you called police and all this stuff, got him deported. Clearly, you doubled back. Okay, and that's the issue with with us women. Sometimes we can do too much, and then we try to double back. And that's why in some situations you don't involve family, don't involve friends, because if you nine times out of ten gonna take this man back, you look like a fool. And this is exactly what she looked like. But clearly, I guess they really have um, uh, disconnected with each other. Like I said, neither one of them are posting anything about one another. Um, and Jay looks like he's going on about his life. She looks like she's going on about her life. I am going to stay fast with this case and see what comes up with it. If she gets charges or if, you know, pretty blonde hair and, um, uh, blue eyes get off, you know, but see if pretty eye, uh, uh, pretty blue eye, blonde hair gets off of this, but I don't know. 
uh, I digress. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Do you watch this show? Do you know what I'm talking about? Or not just listen off of it? Do you think that, oh my goodness, like this is blind privilege at its best? I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. Why are you there? Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. And so you will know when I know. Do not forget to click my notification bell. You can ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. I just want to know that you are there. Thank you. This has been Reviews with Whitney D. I'm Whitney D. Signing off. Bye. digress. It's exciting.